the Sura Gama Mantra, Volume 6, Chapter 3, Sutra. Ananda, this cluster of light atop the crown of the Buddha's head, the sacred gather, Sidan Duo Buddha with its subtle wonderful divisions and phrases, gives birth to all the Buddhas of the Ten Directions. Because the first commands of the Ten Directions use this mantra heart, they realize unsurpassed proper and all pervading knowledge and enlightenment. Commentary Ananda, this cluster of light atop the crown of the Buddha's head, the secret gather, see, dan, dua, bua, da, la, is again the great white canopy, which can cover over the entire system of the three thousand great thousand worlds to protect all the living beings in it. Gatha is a Sanskrit term which means repetitive verses. The mantra is a secret, and since some of these lines are repeated, it is referred to as the secret gatha. These divisions and phrases which comprise the mantra are extremely rare and miraculous. This mantra with its subtle, wonderful divisions and phrases gives birth to all the Buddhas of the Ten Divisions. Therefore, the Sragama Mantra can be called the Mother of Buddhas. Because of those commands of the Ten Divisions use this mantra heart, they realize and surpass the proper and own pervading knowledge and enlightenment. It is by means of the Suragama Mantra that the Buddhas realize the proper and own pervading awareness. Proper knowledge means they know that the mind gives rise to the myriad dharmas. All pervading knowledge means that they know that the myriad dharmas come only from the mind. Sutra Because the first commands of the ten directions take up this mantra heart, they subdue all demons and control all utterings of outside ways. Commentary the mantra heart, the Suragama mantra, was spoken by a transformation body Buddha seated upon a jeweled lotus amidst a thousand rays of light at the crown of the Buddha Shagumni's head. Because the first commands of the ten directions take up this mantra heart, they subdue all demons and control all adherents of outside ways. It is the heart of mantras and it is a mantra heart of the Buddhas. Therefore, what the heavenly demons and adherents of outside ways fear most is the Suragama Mantra. Because Sutra, because of the commons of the ten directions, avail themselves of this mantra heart, they sit upon jeweled lotus flowers and respond throughout countries as numerous as most of dust. Commentary Because of the commons of the ten directions, avail themselves of this mantra heart. They borrow the mantra as it were, they ascend the mantra heart. They sit upon jeweled lotus flowers, huge blossoms, and respond throughout countries as numerous as rows of dust. Their response bodies are able to go through lands as numerous as fine rows of dust due to the power of the Suragama mantra heart. Sutra, because of the commands of the ten directions, embody this mantra heart. They turn the great Dharma wheel in lands as numerous as fine moles of dust. Commentary When the first commands of the ten directions turn the great Dharma wheel in lands as numerous as fine moles of dust, they also base themselves on this mantra. They embody this mantra heart. Sutra Because the first commands of the ten directions hold this mantra heart. They are able to go through the ten directions to wrap beings on the clouds of their heads and bestow predictions upon them. Also, anyone in the ten directions who has not yet realized the fortune can receive the Buddha's prediction. Commentary Because the first commons of the ten directions hold this mantra heart, they receive and uphold this mantra heart, and so they are able to go through the ten directions to wrap beings on the crowds of their heads and bestow predictions upon them, the bestow predictions of Buddhahood on other living beings. 
also anyone in the 10 directions who has not yet realized the fusion can receive a Buddha's prediction. If you have not realized the fusion, the Buddhas may still rub the crown of your head and bestow a prediction on you. Sutra, because of those commands of the ten directions, are based in this mantra heart. They can go throughout the ten directions to rescue beings from such sufferings as being in the house, being hungry ghosts, being animals, or being blind, deaf, or mute, as well as from the suffering of being together with those one hates, from the suffering of being apart from those one loves, from the suffering of not obtaining what one seeks, and from the raging blaze of the five skandhas. They liberate beings from both large and small accidents. In response to their recitation, difficulty with thieves, difficulty with armies, difficulty with the law, difficulty with the imprisonment, difficulty with wind, fire, and water, and difficulty with hunger, thirst, and impoverishment are all eradicated. Commentary Because of those commands of the ten directions are based in this mantra heart, they can go throughout the ten directions to rescue beings from such sufferings as the eight sufferings. Birth, old age, sickness, death, being apart from those one loves, being together with those one hates, being unable to obtain what one seeks, the raging blaze of the five skandhas. There are also eight difficulties, the difficulty of the house, the difficulty of hungry ghosts, the difficulty of animals, the difficulty of being blind, deaf or mute, the difficulty of being in Uttarakuru, the difficulty of being born at a time when there is no Buddha in the world, the difficulty of having worldly intelligence and powers in debate, the difficulty of being reborn in the long life of heavens. The beings in the northern continent Uttarakuru have a very long lifespan. They live for an average of a thousand years. Life on that continent is extremely blissful. The difficulty is that the beings there have no opportunity to see the Buddha, hear the Dharma, or meet the Sangha. Therefore, living there is included among the eight difficulties. The same is true for beings in the heavens. Although their lifespan is long, they have no chance to encounter the true Bojo, so that too is a difficulty. Having worldly intelligence and powers in debate refers to different branches of mundane knowledge, such as the fields of science. They try to express principles where there are no principles and to give reasons when there aren't any. Being in their house, being hungry ghosts, being animals, or being blind, deaf, or mute are among the eight difficulties. Then there is the suffering of being together with those one hates. This is when you move to get away from someone you can't stand, only to find that you get to the new place. There's a person just like him there. There is also the suffering of being apart from those one loves. You love someone especially, but circumstances force you to be apart. Again, there is a suffering of not obtaining what one seeks. When you don't have something that you want, you seek for it. But if you encounter this suffering, you fail to get what you seek. The raging blaze of the five skandhas form, feeling, thought, activity, and consciousness. The five skandhas burn like fire. They liberating beings from both large and small accidents. This can refer to untimely deaths such as being killed in a motorbike accident, being crushed by a falling building or any other fatal accident. They can also liberate beings from difficulty with it, difficulty with animals, with armies, difficulty with law, difficulty with imprisonment, difficulty with wind, fire and water, and difficulty with hunger, thirst and impoverishment. In response to their recitation, all these difficulties are eradicated. Sutra, because the first commands of the ten directions are in accord with this mantra heart, they can serve good and wise advisors 
throughout the ten divisions. In the four aspects of awesome department, we make wish fulfilling offerings. In the assemblies of as many first commons as there are saints in the Ganges, they are considered to be great Dharma princes. Commentary Because the first commons of the ten divisions are in accord with this mantra heart, they can serve good and wise advisors throughout the ten directions. They respectfully offer up their services to good and wise advisors. In the four aspects of awesome department, they make wish fulfilling offerings. In the ceremony of offering to the triple jewel, their conduct is perfectly appropriate. In the assemblies of as many first commons as there are sons in the Ganges, they are considered to be great Dharma princes. They are the foremost disciples of the Buddha. Sutra, because the first commons of the ten divisions practice this mantra hard, they can gather in and teach their relatives in the ten directions, causing those of the small Vihaiku not to be frightened when they hear the sacred treasury. Commentary Because the first commons of the ten directions practice this mantra hard, they can gather in and teach their relatives in the ten directions. Buddhas have the six kinds of close relatives to and they first gather in and teach those of their relatives who draw near to them. Why was it that when Shakyamuni Buddha became a Buddha, he went first to the dear wise park to take across the five shoes? It is because those five shoes were his relatives in that present life and had been his relatives in lives past. They can teach them, causing those of the small vehicle, that is, their relatives who have fallen into studying the small vehicle dramas, not to be frightened, frightened when they hear the secret treasury. When they hear the treasury of secrets told by the Buddha, the great vehicle dharma, they are not afraid. Sutra Because of his commands of the ten directions recite this mantra heart, they realize unsurpassed enlightenment while sitting beneath the Bodhi tree, and they enter Parinibbana. Commentary Because of the first commons of the ten directions that recite this mantra heart, how do the first commons in the ten directions become Buddhas? It is also because they recite this mantra heart. Recite means to repeat from memory without looking at the book. They realize and surpass the enlightenment, enlightenment while sitting beneath the Bodhi tree and become Buddhas because they recite this mantra and they enter Parinibbana. Sutra, because the first commands of the ten divisions transmit this mantra heart, those to whom they have bequeathed the Buddha Dharma can, after their Nirvana, dwell in it completely and uphold it. Being strict and pure about the precepts and rules, they can all obtain purity. Commentary Because the first commands of the ten directions transmit this mantra heart, those to whom they have bequeathed the Buddha Dharma can, after their nirvana, dwell in it completely and uphold it. After the Buddhas go to nirvana, people who inherit the Dharma from them know how to cultivate and to receive and uphold the Buddha Dharma. Being strict and pure about the precepts and rules, they can all obtain purity. It is because of the power of the mantra that they obtain purity and perfection. Sutra, if I were to explain this mantra, poor Dhamma of the cluster light atop the crown of the Buddha's head from morning to night in an unceasing sound without ever repeating any syllable or phrase, I could go on for as many compass as there are sense in the Ganges and still never finish. Commentary If I were to explain this mantra, poor Dhamma, of the cluster of light atop the crown of the Buddha's head from morning till night in an unceasing sound without ever repeating any syllable or phrase, the mantra, poor Dhamma, refers to the Suragama mantra the durable mantra, the mantra of the great white canopy. 
I could go on for as many compasses as their friends in the Ganges, and still never finish. I would never come to the end of my explanation of the Sura Gama Mantra Hearts, Merits, and Virtues, and Wonderful Functions. Sutra, I also will tell you that this mantra is called the crown of the first Kaman. Commentary, I also will tell you that this mantra is called the crown of the first Kaman. That's another name for it. Sutra, all of you with something left to study who have not yet put an end to the cycle of rebirth and yet have brought forth sincere resolve to become a heart will find it impossible to sit in a bodhimanda and be far removed in body and mind from all demonic deeds if you do not hold this mantra. Commentary All of you with something left to study who have not yet put an end to the cycle of rebirth are still caught in the turning wheel of the six paths and yet you have brought forth sincerely self to become a heart. You would like to attain the fruition of a hardship, but you will find it impossible to sit in a body manda and be far removed in body and mind from all demonic deeds if you do not hold it mantra. If you want to become an heart and yet do not hold this mantra, or if you want to sit in a body manda and become a Buddha and yet have a part in demonic activities, either physically or mentally, you're attempting the impossible. In other words, you must recite this mantra to be free of demonic doings. If you don't hold this mantra, you cannot sit in the Buddha Manda, nor can you stay away from the deeds of demons. Sutra Ananda, let any living being of any country in any world copy out this mantra in writing a material native to his region, such as the birch bark patra, plain paper, or white cotton cloth, and store it in a pouch containing incense. If that person wears the pouch on his body, or if he keeps a copy in his home, then you should know that, even if he understands so little that he cannot recite it from memory, he will not be harmed by any poison during his entire life. Commentary The functions of the mantra are discussed here, Ananda, let any living beings of any country in any world, this means that in this world or another world, or in any one of the Middle worlds, a person may copy out this mantra in writing on the tourist native to his region. The person could be American, English, French, German, Japanese, Chinese, Indian, Thai, Burmese, Ceylonese, or a citizen of any other country at all. Perhaps he rides on birch bark or on patra, which are palm leaves or plain paper or white cotton cloth. Whether he writes it out on paper or cloth or some other material that can be written on, on doesn't matter. And they ca he can copy it carefully and respectfully or write it out casually in longhand. Let him stop it in a pouch containing incense. If that person wears the pouch on his body, or if he keeps a copy in his home, then you should know that even if he understands so little that he can recite it from memory, he will not be harmed by any poison during his entire life. If the person doesn't have a good memory, or if he is muddled, headed, and can't recite the mantra well, he can write the mantra out and write it in a little bag, or he can write it out and hang it on the wall of his house. If someone does that, he will go through his entire life without being poisoned. There are strong and weak poisons, but no matter what kind it is, it cannot harm him.